Thank you, Council. Thank you, Council President. Uh, the next item on the agenda this evening is the mayor's report. So there will be an executive session scheduled this evening to discuss the lease sale of property per RCW 42.30.110 per N1 per NC and pending potential litigation per RCW 42.30.110 per N1 per NI. And these items are expected to take a total of around an hour. No action is anticipated in open session. Tonight, City Council is anticipated to vote on Issaquah's first ever biennial budget. A biennial budget process provides numerous improvements to our previous annual process, allowing the city to be more efficient with our resources and to plan for our financial stability further into the future. In the off years or odd numbered years, the city will not go through such a large budgetary process, but will still have the opportunity to make smaller adjustments along the way, including a mid biennium budget update next fall. It will also allow time for a more robust capital planning process in the odd years, aligning with the city's every other year capital improvement plan development. Transitioning to a biennial budget process has been a longstanding goal of the city, and I'm very excited that tonight we will make it a reality. I want to give an update on the water main break and an emergency purchase that had to require for that, that was required for that. Early last week, there was a second large water main break near 1745 Northwest Mall Street in the vicinity of the Issaquah Honda Kubota, west of State Route 900. The broken section of the main has been isolated, but localized repair proved more difficult than is typical. Honda Kubota and a few vacant commercial buildings were without reliable water or fire service. Per the city's financial management policy, the city administrator authorized an emergency purchase to fully replace the water main in lieu of making another localized repair. The estimated project cost is $120,000 to $150,000. And I want to give a big thank you to the Public Works team for such a quick response, uh, quick and dedicated response to this emergency. On the consent calendar tonight is AB 8492. It's regarding the Human Services Grant Recommendations for the 2023-2024 cycle. This bill seeks authorization from Council to approve these grant allocations, which have been included in the 23-24 citywide budget. The Human Services Commission reviewed 81 applications. The Commission used the recently adopted Human Services Strategic Plan to guide the review and recommendation process and is recommending funding of 42 programs whose focus areas include physical and behavioral health, housing continuum, cultural, culture and language access, and community resources. I would like to thank the Human Services Commissioners for their hard work and dedication in providing these recommendations. The City of Issaquah is currently conducting a climate vulnerability assessment to better understand, address, and communicate on the specific threats that climate change poses to the Issaquah community. To shape the assessment, we need to hear from residents, businesses, people who work or go to school in Issaquah, and community organizations. Please be sure to give us your feedback by November 18th online. And there was a council listening session. I want to thank the council members for participating in the City Council Community Listening Session in Talos. On it was productive and interesting meeting, and this meeting was one action toward our goal of making Issaquah's government more responsive and accessible to our community. There are a few upcoming community events. Uh, there is an open house for Northwest Sammamish Road improvements. The city is adding bicycle and pedestrian improvements on the Northwest Sammamish Road between 193rd Place Southeast and the Lake Sammamish State Park entrance. This is the South Lake Sammamish community neighborhood. Come learn about the project and share your thoughts. The open house is on November 9th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. in Hill Creek Manor. There is an East Side virtual job fair. Are you looking for a job on the East Side? Are you looking for a career change? Speak directly to over 45 businesses with thousands of positions at the East Side virtual job fair being held November 10th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Uh, visit issaquahwa.gov slash job fair to register or access job boards if you can't attend this event. Light up the night is coming. Please join the City of Issaquah and special guests for a celebratory tree lighting to welcome in winter. This gathering the whole family will feature a live reindeer, special treats, the Issaquah singers, and a ceremonial tree lighting. All are welcome to attend this free event on November 19th from 5 to 6 p.m. at Rainier Boulevard North between Northwest Dogwood Street 
and Confluence Park. And Coffee with the Mayor is coming back. After a long pandemic pause, Coffee with the Mayor is back. I will be available for community dialogue on November 22nd from 3.30 to 5 at 55 Sunset Coffee, and I look forward to engaging with the community. And my last update, City Hall will be closed on Friday, November 10th for Veterans Day. There will be a memorial ceremony for Veterans Day being held at 11 a.m. on Friday at the Senior Center. And that concludes the Mayor's Report.